Watch it, guys. Microsoft have made Windows 11 even worse than what it was before, and it's to do with the taskbar. If you are an avid fan of having your taskbar alignment on the left-hand side of the screen or the right-hand side of the screen or on the top of the screen of the monitor, then you're in for some bad news. Microsoft have confirmed that they are not going to be adjusting where you can put your taskbar. It's going to stay for a very long time in the center or on the left-hand side of the screen like this. You cannot adjust it to the left-hand side of the screen or up the top of the screen or even on the right of the screen. You can't put it on those locations. Before we continue, let's have a word from today's sponsor. This video has been sponsored by CD Key Sales. If you want to snag yourself a cheap Windows 10 Pro OEM key, then check out the links in the video description. Create an account and click the Buy Now button and use my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply this to your order and you'll get yourself a nice juicy discount. Head over to the activation center and then activate your version of Windows 10 or Windows 11 Pro. So what's the reason for Microsoft not making changes to the taskbar? And it's all to do uh, with the widgets and the way they've uh, built and designed the taskbar. They had to design the taskbar from scratch. And now we have all of the widgets and other items on there. And they're saying that it's just not going to be possible to change the location or alignment of the taskbar because it will cause a major conflict with what is on there already. So if you have been using the taskbar on the left hand side or on the top or on the right hand side of the screen for a long, long time, you're just going to have to readjust to having it along the bottom because Microsoft have no plans of adding those features in the taskbar on Windows 11. So why are they not doing anything about the taskbar? It's to do with these widgets and gestures on the screen. They can't uh, put it on the top here because it interferes with the widgets that you have on the left hand side here. It also interferes with other things on the side, on the right hand side as well. And they're saying, but by having it on the side of the screen or on the top, it will interfere with this and it will cause a major problem and they would have to redesign the whole taskbar thing. So there was an issue with the drag and drop, which has actually been fixed by Microsoft, and that will be released to the general public on version Windows 11 22H2. So soon you will be able to drag and drop icons or things onto the taskbar. At the moment, it's not available, but it will be coming to you very soon so they have fixed the drag and drop as you can see right now we can't drag and drop anything on there and it was the same with this area around here where you couldn't drag and drop anything inside the menu area here and they have started to fix this and they are going to fix a lot of these issues in the up and coming releases now they have been working on the menu system because it just looks so bland and boring uh, there is a way of fixing this by installing a new uh, menu system one is called Start is Back uh, for Windows 11, and the other one is called Start 11, which will change the menu system back to something more familiar and get your old Start menu back. Unfortunately, uh, for the taskbar, it seems to be uh, doomed. It, they're not going to be doing any sort of updates or work on the taskbar for the foreseeable future. And that may be a massive deal breaker for a lot of people when they're talking about upgrading from Windows 10 to Windows 11. A lot of people I know have already gone back to Windows 10 because it just works. Uh, and with Windows 11, there's a few quirks on it that you have to get used to. And one of them is the taskbar and the start menu. Now, I'm not saying that people can't adapt to this, but if you've been using something for a long time on the left-hand side or on the right or up the top, and you're now forced to use it in this position, uh, that can be a real big turn off for a lot of people. So also the right click uh, menu here for the taskbar settings, they removed the little legacy menu that used to be here where you can get access to your task manager. So now you have to right click here and go task manager here. It's not a big deal. You can get access to it, but it just means that uh, you just have to do something different compared to what you used to do. So if you're one of these people that are wondering when Microsoft are going to release a major update for your taskbar settings, then you can be waiting a very long time because they are going to make some little minor changes, I, I suppose, in the future, but it's not going to be the ones that you're expecting, like the positioning or alignment of your taskbar. 
Now, Microsoft have also said that they had to rebuild the taskbar from scratch and they had to pick and choose important features that they would put in there first. Not many people use the taskbar on the top or on the left or the right hand side, and most people used it on the bottom. That was what they come to in their conclusion. So they completely uh, changed that feature and took it away from the people that actually do use it there. So they're saying that only a small few people that have it on the sides or at the top will be impacted by it compared to the large amount of people that have it along the bottom. I think that's just a really poor uh, thing to do uh, for people that actually do need it on the side or at the top or they do use it uh, are now just going to be, uh, you know, basically chucked to the scrap heap and said, no, you're going to have to learn to use it on the bottom because we want our widgets in here and we want all our other, uh, you know, other things added onto the taskbar. Now, they've also said that Windows 10 is still supported right up until 2025. So you can always use Windows 10 if that is some sort of problem for you. But unfortunately, what happens when you get to 2025, you're going to have to upgrade anyway to Windows 11 because there is no other operating systems apart from Linux. And let's face it, not everyone wants to go and use Linux and completely retrain themselves from the bottom up. So anyway, that is just a little rant video for today. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Let me know in the comments section below what you guys think about the taskbar situation and whether it really is a deal breaker for you to upgrade if they're not going to change any of the settings or alignments in there for you or give you some sort of customization of the taskbar because of uh, their silly widgets and things like that. And I'll be happy to read your comments. I just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support. We also have some special shout outs for Geo Sam, who's joined my tier three YouTube members group. I appreciate the support, Geo. And also uh, Welsh21, who's also in my tier three YouTube members group. Thank you for the support. And I shall catch you in the next one. Bye for now.